I know that you want to level up your Django development skills. So in this video, you will learn about Django's powerful ORM that will make you forget even your raw queries. So beware about that. And without wasting any further time, let's get started. Well, hi, I am Shubham and subscribe to become a better software developer. So what is Django ORM? ORM, which also stands for Object Relational Mapping, is a powerful tool in Django which allows you to communicate with the database without writing your queries into raw format. Actually, we write the queries in Pythonic way. That is what Django ORM is. And why do we want to use Django ORM? Well, for the same reason that it allows us to write the code in Pythonic way which makes the Django developers life very easy as you will see in the video and also in upcoming videos. So now let's get started with the coding part. So for ORM, we'll try to do all the CRUD operation that is create, read, update and delete. And for that, we'll create a new file. We'll call it as view underscore ORM dot pi. In this video, I'm going to teach you very briefly because I have already covered the one entire playlist of ORM into Django. So you can go and watch that out. So I'll create is def index and in this one we are going to take in request as always. And in order to get started right first we need to import our model. So from dot models will import post model because let's go once to the models because we have forgotten what all the fields are present in the model. So title slug content status hero image and owner these are the fields in this particular model or uh, table and the table name is post and over here you can see title and slug are to be unique and they cannot be null content also cannot be null actually nothing can be null so what we'll do is we'll go back over here and in order to get started right to retrieve all the data we have to do is model that means post dot objects dot all and you know what i'll return this query set data into the front end you should not be doing it in this way it is just for demonstration purpose so please don't do it like this so we'll say return json response and in this one i'm going to say I'm going to do one more thing over here, okay? I'm going to say extra processing. This is required in just this way and you all won't be doing this. So please don't copy this. I'm doing this to teach you all, okay? I'm going to convert the query set into list. That too, I will need values for that. So I'm going to pass extra processing and I'm going to say save as false. And of course, let me import this. So from Django dot HTTP import JSON response. Let's save this. Go to URLs and we'll import our ORM. We'll go down. We'll create a new path. I'll call this as ORM dash index. You can call it anything. And we'll take view ORM dot index. And of course, name also will give orm dash index saved it now let me clear this make sure your environment is active and we'll run our project so python manage.py run server refresh the page and go to index dash orm or is it orm index and as you can see we have list of data available over here let me zoom in here so we'll go back to this and whenever we have more than one data fetched, it is always called as query set, which means query set can consist of more than one object. Whenever we have multiple data, multiple rows into hand, we call it as query set. The query set consists of multiple rows. And whenever we have single row in hand, it is called as object. Okay. So that's why it is query set over here and over here you can see it is in a list. Now let's say that you wanted to add some filter. Let's say that you wanted to filter based on ID where ID is equal to 2. And if you all have doubt where is this ID coming from? Well Django by default adds up ID field uh, into the model. Okay. So that's why we have this ID present over here. What I'll do is I'll copy paste it and in order to get all the data whose ID is equal to 1, 
we know that it will be only one but just for the filter purpose for the query set purpose let's try to filter it by one so we are going to specify filter over here and in this one whatever the field name is that is id and whatever the value you want to give let's say one you want to give right so if we go back over here refresh this page as you can see it is giving me again this data and please note again we have into a list okay not a single object i will show you how to fetch that also get that also but right now it is list and let's say that if we make this as two and go back refresh this page as you can see it is coming as blank list now i'll try to show you one single object in hand so i'll call it as object and we'll do is again post dot objects dot now instead of all and filter we'll do is get okay so get where id is equal to one and we'll try to pass obj so with this we will get one single object in hand but over here you can see right we had added extra processing so for this to work i'm going to add extra processing in between okay that is dot values you can ignore it for now you can watch that series of mine of orm i have explained this also how it is and why it is and how it works so you can check that out but for now just blindly under uh, understand that this is present and that is just for demonstration purpose and if i refresh as you can see now we have single object in hand not list and there are other ways also of doing the same thing i will show you that again we'll call it as filter but you will say that i have already done filter over here and it was giving me list definitely it was giving you list but over here i'll say first first means pick up the first one out of all the results so that's why this first and if i run this right it won't work because it will give me error to display so for that i will add the extra processing and that is dot values and save it okay refresh and as you can see we are getting just one single object that is because we have used first over here now we have covered the read operation now what if we wanted to create a data right for that let's create a new method a function called as create underscore data this will take in request for now we'll use static data declare it over here itself but whenever you're creating your application you will have to get it from the front end and you will have to use uh, other ways to get the data so right now let's use the static data and there is not just one way of creating data so you can go ahead and check the video series out i have already covered everything for you so here we'll take the model name that is post objects dot create all that's it and in this one we have to pass all the field names with the value so we are not going to pass any id over here it will be automatically generated by the Django. So we'll start by saying title because that is one of the fields. We'll call it as new blog. Slug. We'll again call it as new dash blog. And we need some content. So for content, I'll do is lorem ipsum. Let me try to generate lorem. Actually, let me copy paste the lorem ipsum part. I have copy pasted the lorem ipsum part and what we'll do is owner right whenever we have this model called as post we have something called as owner and this is a foreign key in order to save this what we can do is we can append underscore id over here or what we can do is we can skip this id and we can directly pass the object of that particular table or model so i don't since i don't have right now in hand user object over here so i'm going to use underscore id and I'll say one because we know for a fact that we have admin already created. So that's why I'm using ID one. So this will, won't fail. And finally, what we can do is we can return some message return. I'll again do JSON response in this one. What we'll do is we'll pass message message success fully created data. Now, of course, this needs another URL. So let's go and create our URL, not this one. URL, copy paste this one and we'll go over here, create data it is. So ORM, create data, create data, create data. And for now, 
what we'll do is we'll go back to this one and we'll revert this okay because we need all the objects so that we can see as soon as there is any new object is created okay so if we refresh this orm index we can see only one object is there i'll duplicate this one we'll do is instead of this we'll say create underscore data i'm a bit lazy so that's why i have kept underscore over here you can definitely go ahead and change it and as you can see it says successfully created data as soon as we went over here there were no errors and if we come back and refresh this let me do this and as you can see there is new object created with id2 that is automatically created id created at updated at is automatically given uh, and as you can see this is the time that i'm like uh, recording the video it is almost two o'clock in the night and uh, these are the data that we had passed for hero image how did it come so if we go to the model hero image has some default value given to it so that's why it worked even the status has default value that's why it worked so this is how we create a data now what if we want to update a data so let's create another function for that i'll call it a def update underscore data in this one request and whenever you update data right first we need to find out all the data with that particular id so over here let's consider the id to be one and what we can do is post dot objects dot filter id equal to id and we can say is dot update whatever we want to update right so let's say that we want to update title then we can say update title like other queries update also has multiple ways to work so this is one of the way i'll comment it out other way is we can do is object by this save method okay so post dot objects dot you can do filter id equal to id dot first so we have our object in hand or you can definitely use get also that will also work and what we'll do is object dot title is equal to the updated title and object dot save this is one way of updating data this is another way of updating data okay and finally we'll return json response so json response will say message equal to updated data and we need to create url for this so let's go to urls copy paste and instead of create we'll do is up update update data we'll keep this one open we'll say over here update underscore data and as you can see it says updated data we go over here and update uh, refresh this over here you can see the title has been update title you don't believe let's rename it again and this time let's use this method uh, this way of updating okay new updated title let's say it this refresh this one so that data gets updated and now this is update title okay and if i refresh and check it says new updated title that means it worked and finally in the crud operation the last part is remaining that is d it is delete so let's try to delete some data i'll call it as remove data and it will take in request id let's say that we want to remove id number two this will be of course you will be getting it from the url or in some way from the user we won't be declaring it always and what we'll do is model dot object dot you need to filter it filter the data so id equal to id this can be anything okay it can be title also title equal to some title okay so once we have this filtered data all we say is delete open close bracket that's it and we'll return json response saying message deleted this you can do anything no need to worry about and if we go back to the urls we need to copy paste and we'll say remove data remove underscore data let's save go back to our browser over here and we'll say remove underscore data and it says deleted if you go back and refresh this as you can see we have only one data now so we have successfully deleted this data 
अगेन गाइस आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑल आई हैव द एंटायर सीरीज कवर्ड फॉर ओ आर एम इन जेंगो यू कैन गो एंड चेक द सीरीज आउट ओके एंड मीन वाइल टू रीड वट वी हैव डन इज वी हैव डन पोस्ट डॉट ऑब्जेक्ट्स डॉट ऑल विच मीन्स इट विल गेट ऑल द ऑब्जेक्ट्स and it will be query set and we are showing that on the screen other ways to get the data is by filtering means a specific set of data only so filter by id by 2 now we can get only one single object that is by using the dot get whereby we pass over a id equal to 1 this id can be anything okay it can be models uh, like this model's title also and we need to pass title over here and that will also work it is not just limited to id and in this one what we have done is we have try to get a single object in some other way that is by filter first and that's it then we have create data where we create a data that is by post dot objects that means models dot objects dot create pass in data for each and every field of the model and that's it it will create the data then for update we need an id to update one single object you can update at once or you can update multiple of them to update one single object you can use uh, this way and to update multiple objects at once you can use this way this is how it is and to update we have to use dot update and pass in whatever updated data is with the field name of course and to remove data or to delete data we need id from the user definitely and then we need a uh, and then we use model dot object dot filter and filter by whatever condition you have and then delete all those data it is like where condition if you miss this entire data will be disappear so that's it for this video guys thank you and i will see you in the next one bye bye